I didn't know the story behind it until mm -hmm. your book, though, that this was a song that you wrote and that lyric came from your father. It came from my dad. In the book, I go pretty into detail about, you know, a dark moment in my life where I, am I doing the right thing, starving in Hollywood and, you know, just the rejection and promise rejection. And then finally, you know, asking my dad, should I come home and give this dream up, you know? And he always prophesied over me that I was to be destined for greatness, you know, in music. He said, no, don't stop believing, John. And so I had a little spiral notebook and I wrote down that phrase and it was my mantra for all those years, you know, of I better not stop believing, my dad will be mad, you know. <laughs> And, oh, go ahead. Yeah, so in the, you know, in, in the book, I just, t you know, take it to how it got into the journey camp, you know. Right, and you didn't use that for years. You kind of fell back on the It was five years, years it sat in a notebook. And, you know, we had made the Escape album. We were one song shy. And Steve Perry looked at me and said, do you have any ideas? And I said, he said, go home and look. You know, you have that magic book, you know. And I said, I know, the lyric book. So I looked in the back, and sure enough, I saw that phrase. And I said, journey, don't stop believing. Ah. Uh. Steve would sing that, you know. But I was a little afraid of the leave and because he doesn't like the E vowel very much. And I thought, well, <laughs> I'll just make it quick and he well, won't. What do you mean he doesn't like it? Well, he was very uh, particular about what he liked to sing. His vowels, uh, he was at, uh, just really amazing when it came to knowing instinctively what sounded good. And the believe in just happens very quickly, believe in, you know. And I thought, well, we're good, you know. So I brought the chorus in and the rest is history, you know. Amazing. Yeah. Um, this book kind of details your entire journey for mm -hmm. how all of this came, and it starts at a pretty rough patch. It, yes, it does. Um, yeah, in the, in the beginning there was the fire, you know, and what was interesting um, in those times, it was a perfect neighborhood, uh, an ethnically mixed neighborhood. We have all kinds of different, you know, uh, Italians, Polish, German, all Catholics, 6,000 of us living in this parish. I was surrounded by love. I had a delicatessen downstairs that would get, they gave me candy. I was a kid growing up in a candy store, perfect life, you know. And then all of a sudden, our school, you know, catches on fire. And 92 children perished that day and three nuns. Mm. And um, it rocked us. It changed everything, you know, the neighborhood. But we all grew up that day. We all had to face uh, evil right in the eye. How, how did you get to the point of actually writing this book? It was through telling uh, stories to one of your band members, right? I started years ago. I, I got inspired by Stephen King's little tiny book called On Writing. And um, he said, everyone has a book in them. And I thought, you know, I, 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 do, I have a book, you know. And I would tell my stories on the bus, long bus rides, you know, on the road. And my friend Ross, the bass player, said, you've got to write a book. And so he encouraged me. And after reading Stephen King's book, I, I started on my journey and I realized how difficult it was, you know, different voice that you had to learn. And I uh, got some editors to help me. Um, and so I wrote this book probably eight, eight times on, over and over again. But when I stood on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame stage and, and you know, looked at all those fans, I knew how my book was going to begin. It was going to be right there. And, I, and it all came crystal clear that night. It was crazy. You, uh, you're getting back on that, that bus again. Yes. You guys are signing up for a big tour this summer with yes, Def yes. again. Yes, Yeah, we, uh, we have a big, giant tour. It's like 14 trucks and I don't know how many buses. And uh, we released the plane this time. Uh, <laughs> it's easier on our old bodies <laughs> you know, than rolling around on a bus. Uh, but yeah, we're really excited. We're going to play for about 3 million people, some stadiums. Uh, the guys in Def Leppard are terrific. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.